Hi everyone, this is uh, my daughter Felicity. Uh, she wants to show how she makes her own recipe uh, using approximately guideline of a recipe and how she modifies it and how she, uh, what's her story. Uh, why she's interested in this kind of recipe. Go ahead. So I've observed and been attuned to a lot of unhealthy eating habits as well as unhealthy habits in general. So my whole goal is to create a healthier version of food that people and my friends would love to eat and not feel horrible after and not feel heavy afterwards. Okay, what do you mean you accumulated unhealthy habits? I thought you're very social and you do a lot of activities like frisbees and, and running and creating games. So what, what exactly do you mean unhealthy habits? Maybe I don't know something. They're mostly habits I've observed, but for my own habits, it's not so much a thought of unhealthy habits as it is inconsistency in the healthy habits. Well, you're in the process of uh, losing weight, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and was you successful? I've been fluctuating a lot, but I feel like I'm headed towards a successful path. Mm -hmm. So last time it, it happened that when you left home and you lived with your friend for two weeks, you, you gained a lot of weight, remember? Mm -hmm. So what happens over there? What do you think caused it? I became too relaxed on my own habits. Can you be please more specific because habits could be anything, is it a food or exercise? Both. I didn't pay as much attention as I should have towards my eating habits and I wasn't able to exercise as much due to school. Okay, so what eating habits included? So what, what was the problematic food for you? Because you're vegetarian. Mostly it was comfort foods like bread. Bread. What about pasta? A few times, but I've long since weaned myself off of it. Okay, and what did you substitute pasta for? Mostly salads and it, yeah, it's supposed sweet to, potatoes yeah. and rice. So you substitute you substitute one type of carb for wholesome type of carb, right? Okay, so pasta is a refined carb, and rice and sweet potato is a whole carb. Well, it's a you know very good way to start, and was it delicious for you so far? Yes. Okay, so today we were talking about um, creating a um, bread that would be staple for you. So instead of just having rice with you or sweet potato, so you modify something for something you know more fun, right? And today we were talking about that we ran out of rice to make rice flour, so I, I discovered the quinoa. So we have uh, how much quinoa? So go ahead and, and pour it out. I'd say about half a cupful. Okay, so let's measure it. So it's much less than that, right? But the recipe, it's much less than that, much less than that. So we probably need a little bit more and we don't have anything more. You know what I discovered that I have? This bowl, it's it's a coconut flour and a coconut shred. Look, right now it, it's funny, but we're gonna work with, with whatever available. And maintain I'm not a fan of coconut. Yes, and she is not really a fan of coconut. However, uh, there is a things in a recipe that might she might find overpowering, which happens you know all the time, and t to my own surprise, and the only reason we do this is just because we really don't have this dry face in a, you know, for our cooked tortilla. So let's go ahead and add everything because all we need, you know, at least to have like a half cup or maybe a little bit less so we can make this flour work. So go ahead. This, um, this is a meal and go ahead and yeah, close it and make a flour.
So if you take this out, uh, then if you fill it with the stuff to process, you will not be able to, to place it back. So this is supposed to be in, this is supposed to be in. What is important right now let's let's look at this um, you know because it's already product that you can eat uh, because it's just a defrosted piece and defrosted green beans it's already edible and if we want to make things like coarsely we can already use it but I'll let you guys know the smell is not very pleasant right now but it probably will taste good bring everything down and I forgot about one important ingredient that she said smell is not really good. Uh, what usually makes smell different is the addition of oil and addition of garlic and um, salt. So it's a adjust adjusting smell and taste. It's just a little trick. What it is, we will, we will have to add a little bit of water. Okay, so, so we, we're going to add red pepper, salt, and lemon juice from a lemon okay. through this sieve. Oh, that's a good idea. I actually never use a sieve. Maladets. Maladets means... I don't know what maladets means. Kind of a good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like salt too much. I'm not into very salty things. And I find my mom overdoes it all the time. Yeah, salt makes uh, taste, like round up taste, but I agree. Very good idea. Where did you learn it? We didn't have anything to catch any of the... the... Seeds? Seeds, so... Good idea. Works. That is very easy. I'll teach kids in a class how to do it. So when you start mixing, uh, we have right now, this is a combination of quinoa and coconut flour and coconut shred. And we have a little bit of a previously made a cashew meal. Uh, it, it's like pure accident because we really run out of everything and we have a, a psyllium uh, husk, which usually added at the end, add everything right now. Everything you add and you're gonna be fine. Just because appro like approximately, like dry face and a wet face could be of the same amount. You know, I really prefer to do raw recipe because you preserve everything, but right now it's kind of a fast recipe and Felicity wants to go and run. Uh, so we decided that it's going to be how long, Felicity? You, you agree to like 30 minutes maximum. And uh, if we don't film it, for example, it probably will be much faster, right? And if you work together, so... But anyway, 30 minutes it is because she already put on her makeup on. <laughs> A bit too flowery for my taste, but yeah, or well, just because it is a flowery, because it's um, and a bit too coconutty. Coconutty. Yeah. Actually, it should be very nice right now because coconut will be toasted right now, and it gives it a very nice flower. Let's see if you like it. So Felicity said it's a little bit too watery. The thing is, when you add psyllium, you have to allow it to sit. So make a like a put it back and like put it everything together so it's it's well it's a well mixed and the trick with the psyllium psyllium will going to expand and it takes a little bit of time maybe five minutes uh, of wait and you can do it with your hands like to press everything together so psyllium absorbs water from uh, from this dough just press it down down everything so keep it down like from all the sides of the dish so it's like one big creation 
Like a green pizza dough. Yeah. It, it could be a green pizza too, by the way. Depends how thick. So as you see right now, what do you think? Is it time to add uh, psyllium because it's already hard, right? It's already play-doh. It just falls apart. I'd say even add a little bit more water because it feels a little too tough, but... Too tough? Well, let me check. No, 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 it's not at all. It's, it's still, it's um, wet and good enough wet. Um, let me just add it. So remember I told you that psyllium adds just gluing together because what we try to avoid here is uh, gluten, right? Mm -hmm. Gluten, it's the uh, same root as glue. If we add psyllium and I add it just like that, it's kind of uh, eyeballing just because I already experienced in it and uh, you know she's in a hurry so I simply like pushing it. <laughs> it's also starting to smell more familiar. I can't quite put my finger on what it is, but okay. it's starting to smell more familiar. Okay, so right now, are you, are you if you... Так, у тебя чистые руки? Okay. Если у тебя чистые руки, возьми руками, попробуй. So right now, if this forms uh, already like a Play-Doh, if, if she can, you know, pick up and do some little ball like in her palm, uh, that's good enough to produce dough. If it's still bigger, larger, larger, more, like full palm, take a full palm, press it together, press it together, even larger, uh, I will, I'll stop you, make a larger ball, I'll stop you, I approximately no, because it's, it has to be, this is actually a good one, strong, press it very strong, okay, is it well made, okay, yeah, a little too watery, but, okay, let me check. Don't worry about the edges right now. So it should not be too thin, right? It should, it should not be like holes in the middle. And it should be even. Like see if it's even. This is a hole. Ты видишь, да? Hole means that you will not be able to pick it up. So now you like make it like this from a side. And now make it so there are like hole sides and uh, everything all alone is even evenly layer it and that's approximately like one third of an inch right now so it's it's between too thin and too thick okay what do you think okay. this is seems to be should be good right yeah. okay and this is you can place already on a on a stove so the heat supposed to be i will say medium something like that it's probably like maximum four minutes on one side and so far let's just continue with another one how do you call this like I'm not sure of the name for it okay color book <laughs> okay so it's supposed to be even you can use knuckles and you can even out the sides and make sure that there is no holes in the middle and then examine it again and you, you don't you don't really need more you don't need more you just have to do you just have to use whatever is here it's a trick i mean it's once you do like once twice three times you will see that the process will be much easier much more familiar do you like this process at all a little bit it's soothing soothing exactly so it's a very pleasant to touch right and you make your own food <laughs> what do you think about making your own food it's always interesting to find a recipe perfect it and then build your own recipe out of it mm. so when you build your own recipe which ingredients you think you're going to use eventually after this one i know that you don't like the piece <laughs> I don't know. It all depends on what I'm making and what's available. I've made plenty of things where I wanted something but we didn't have it and I just ended up using something else. Okay, would you use sweet potato? Yeah. Would you use uh, corn? Maybe. Would you use rice? Probably. Okay, so we have at least already three variations. Which is very good, so your the food is not boring. 
What do you think about that food is economical? I think it's more useful for anyone in any situ in any economic situation. Rich or poor, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? A penny saves you a dollar? A penny saved is a penny earned, I think. Yeah, that's... Who is it? Uh, Roosevelt or Washington or Disraeli? Somebody. This is the second one. We just replace it. So it's for convenience, just, just change uh, burners and bring it close to you and flip it. Like you have to go under very well and uh, keep it in the middle. Flip it already. Okay. So what happens here, it start, uh, the, there is a side that already dried down, but uh, we have to move this a little bit. Uh, so the side will be a little bit more dry down and um, uh, of course, uh, Felicity keeps me nervous right now because she wants to run with her friends and she's going to exercise and I ask you to do this class with me. Um, so this is a tortilla that is almost ready to be flipped. This is tortilla we, we just put on. So I'm going to finish it. Okay, so what I suggest you to do, uh, take spatula. Okay and try to elevate the sides, the, the side that you see. Okay, so now go and go, go with the spatula under completely. Yes, elevate it well and, and flip it. Excellent, oh my God. I don't think you did it before. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is, I know that everybody likes to do this and this is very pleasant process. So way to know whether it's um, ready. First of all, it's already dry from both sides and I prefer just, just a little bit, so I'm looking under. So it's still a little bit green, so I will I will brown it a little bit. What's good about it, it's, it's uh, gluten-free. It's uh, refined flour-free and it's egg-free, right? Yeah, we, we forgot to do this, to do poking. So we have to do it right now without scratching it. You cannot run away from here. So you have to stay here and, and watch it. So go ahead and, and take a spatula and uh, see if this is already the other side already kind of ready. Let me see. It's like okay. half ready. Yeah, it's actually ready, especially if you like being gentle with that. And what do you think about the uh, smell right now? It's better than when we first started. And I think it has to do a little bit with the the pepper that we added and the other flavors that we added and it's not so much from it's not as familiar as the raw dough itself itself smells but it's pleasant enough to want to mix with salad or with rice or with something else okay you could hear the sizzling from it you think that would be enough for you just one lesson to to repeat it with something else uh yeah Okay. With, a, with a few reminders, probably. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So I can finish it up. I know that you have to run. And go ahead and run. Yay.